Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome if you are a returning viewer, but thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the sweet of the decadent scents for summer. Now I understand some people are just solely freshy people for the summer, but me, I cannot go an entire season without smelling delicious, delectable, like irresistible. I have got to still keep my sweet fragrances around. So we're gonna get into some fragrances that are sweet, but still work for that summer heat. So without further ado, let's get into my list of top sweet fragrances for summer. Okay, so the first one on this list, OMG, OMG. When I tell you I sat on getting this fragrance for a year, Abby from Abby with Love, AI the Great, they raved about this pineapple from Dolce & Gabbana and I was just like, ooh, I need it. Ooh, I, I don't need it. Ooh, I need, listen. Something about me, what is wrong with me? It's like I wait till something is fully discontinued before I pull the trigger and it's just so, so stupid. It took an act of Congress for me to get this. In the US, it is very, very hard to get. Harris was still carrying it, so you will still have the option to get it through them. But I think that it is no more Harrods. Like I have was stalking the site and they have not restocked it. So it may be gone from Harrods as well. Um, and not only that, it's the shipping from Harrods is freaking outrageous <laughs> um, to the US. So who else had it? There are some other UK sites that, that carry it, but they don't ship to the US. Like. So when I tell you an act of Congress, okay, the House and the Senate had to sign off for me to get this bottle, but I love this fragrance. Pineapple by Dolce & Gabbana is a very, very juicy, fresh pineapple. That is what I get. And this is an EDT, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, EDT, so it has no longevity. <laughs> but fortunately, they gave you a big ass bottle. <laughs> this is... Child, this is a 150 ml. Decant, take it with you and respray because it's worth it. It's so sweet, juicy, delicious, like perfect, perfect daytime pineapple scent. Um, I will, I'm interested to see how this layers with Lamar. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna try that. I do know that it does layer beautifully with the layering goddess, <laughs> Kaoli Vanilla 28. Go very light on this. Very light um, because you don't want to overpower it with the vanilla. Layer the two, they layer beautifully. Over spray, get your pineapple juicy best life with this one if you can find it. I hate that I had to talk about it because it's gonna be hard to find, it really is. But if you can get your hands on it, my people in the UK, go ahead, scoop her up while you can. People in the US, I need you to stalk Macari till you find an individual seller trying to let one go because they do come up like brand new, sealed, like unopened boxes for sale. Um, and that really may be your only option at this point. It is not popping up on the discounted websites anymore. Um, so it's been discontinued and it's literally like on its way out of, you know, out of out of circulation. Like, so if you can get your hands on a uh, pineapple, definitely get it because it's a beautiful, stunning, sweet, juicy pineapple. Perfect for the summer heat. <laughs> We're gonna talk about a layering combination that I love. This is going to be Eden Juicy Apple 01 and the Good Girl Vanilla 28. Wear these together, okay? This one, I sold this for my daughter. This is hers. She wanted this for her little, uh, end of the year uh, after school present child. She wanted a fragrance and she was dying to get this one back because she took that mini and she just totally destroyed that mini in like a week. So I got her this full bottle, but I be sneaking in there and I be wearing it. And I layer it with Vanilla 28 because they smell so delicious together. When this fragrance first dropped, I purchased the mini and it was like, I get more red, like I get more berries. I get the apple, but I get more berries. There is definitely the DNA, um, Cali DNA of that musk, a little bit of vanilla, beautiful scents. Um, 
but I, ju I just got to wear these together. Like, I could wear this one on its own, but why would I when I can layer with Vanilla 28? Because it totally takes this to the next level. A lot of people say that this is giving them like body spray, body splash vibes. I don't get that. This is, this is just a little bit more elevated than a body splash now. Um, let's just be real. Um, but it's very youthful. It's very, you know, fruity, fun, flirty, which I think was her whole, uh, like that's what the campaign kind of spoke to. Like, so that's what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting anything, you know, super grown up sultry. Like I wasn't expecting that. Um, but I wear this and I wear this and I smell so delicious, so ready for summer, so sweet, so juicy. And like that, I'm telling you, the vanilla and the musk combination of the K.I.L.E. like vibe is just, it just does it for me. And the bottle, can we just take a moment? Hello, I love it, I love it. These two together, layering combo for summer is a must. You must try it. Get your hand on two minis, child. Try it, see how you like them together, and get yourself full bottles if you think. This should already be in your collection, okay? This should already be in the collection, the big size. Um, but if you don't have it, definitely, definitely give it a try, get your nose on it, because that is just one of the best vanillas out there because it is gorgeous and it layers beautifully with literally everything in your collection. Now this next one is sweet, it is sexy, and when I tell you it is for the date night, okay? It is for date night. Don't wear this to work and expect to not get stalked. <sighs> Rosendo Metals number five is a floral amber, and it is the most sensual musk that I own. When I tell, First of all, look at the dent. This was brand new, brand new, fresh from the, the manufacturer. Like, I have flown through this. This lasts and it projects and I don't give a damn. It's it's just getting used so often is why the dent is this big. This is not from over spraying like I lost my mind. I have to smell this at night when I go to bed. I have to wear like every other day. This is the best, like this is my musk holy grail. That blue heart, like, let me tell you. Blue heart, you need it. <laughs> Number five, my Rosendo Motel, you need it. If you like musk, child, you need to get your nose on this. I don't think this would be blind by say because it's sweet, it's transparent sweet. Like Baccarat Rouge is sweet and transparent sweet. Get your nose on it first. The opening has a spice in there that can get a little rubbery to the nostrils. Like it had a rubbery opening to me, which I was already forewarned about, which I was expecting, but I don't get that at all now. Like literally after the first time I sprayed it, I never got that rubbery note in the opening. Um, It's like a very caramelized sugar sweet. It is very sexy musk. It is, it's, it's got florals, but they're not like, you can't, they're nondescript. You can't tell what florals are in here. You just, it's a very, very light floral essence to it. Beautifully unisex. I'm talking about if you have a date, it's the summertime, you want to smell sweet you wanna smell sexy as hell, then this is the one you need to pull for. I'm telling you, everything ain't gotta be no, no, um, you know, white floral with a, with a, like, I'm telling you, sometimes you just wanna be sexy. And this, I feel like is sweet and sexy. Everything don't have to be super spicy for it to be sexy. Sometimes it can just be a damn good musk. And this is giving me that vibe. I love, 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 love this fragrance, it is very popular. I think this is the like the biggest seller of the house. Um, and totally, totally see why. I have not stopped spraying this since I got it. Test, get it, test it since it has um, decants. Get you a five mil, honey, do a test. I was supposed to be getting a five mil, but I got, I don't know. Some just told me to go ahead and blind buy, pull the trigger and I did. And tell you i do not regret it i love 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 it but not safe blind buy don't blind buy it test it 
um, because I think you're just going to love it. If you're a musk lover, if you're a musk lover, you're going to like this scent. Caramel, sweet, sophisticated, sexy, musk, like it is everything. And everything you need to be smelling like if you're trying to smell sweet this summer, but still have like some sensuality. Resendo number five, trust me. Okay, the next one, I have a little baby bottle. <laughs> And this is uh, Dolce Amalfi. So Dolce Amalfi was a hard no when I got my little decant from Scent Split. It was a hard no. Because you hear people talk about this and they always make that juicy fruit gum reference. I don't wanna smell like gum, okay? I don't even have a bubble gum um, tuberose in my collection. I don't even have that. <laughs> Not saying it smells bad, but it's just like, I don't really smell like gum. And when I first sprayed this, I was like, OMG, this is definitely giving me like juicy fruit vibes. Why? Why God? <sighs> Came back to it probably three, four weeks later. Loved it. <laughs> Loved it. I was like, God, the spices was just hitting different on this day and this particular time. Like I loved it. Um, after giving it a second, like full wear, I decided to go ahead and get me a 30 mil. This one is just like, I wanted a bottle, but I don't see myself wearing this like all the time. Um, I mean, if we get through the 30 mil, sure, we can always upgrade her. But for me, I think I love when a niche house offers a very small bottle like this, because you may want a full bottle of something, but you don't want no 150 mil. And a lot of these new houses, like they have the one size, like 100 mil. I don't need a bunch of 100 mil of anything, unless it's just like some holy grail type of scent. Perfect size for me, okay? For this particular scent. This is a gorgeous, spicy, um, slightly spicy scent. Like the spice is not gonna hit you in the nose, like some strong pink pepper, but it's got like these wonderfully done spices Blend it to perfection. Hello, Georgia. That is what they do. They blend to perfection. Um, I think there's like quince in here, and it's it's a gorgeous summer scent. It's just something about it. It's just the right amount of sweetness to make it sweet, but not like too thick or cloying. And it's just like this is a gorgeous scent for summer. So if you're looking for something very unique, um, a little bit of a spicy touch, but sweet a little bit of, you know, like an exotic fruit. It's got that quince in there. This one, please, this over Passe Soir. If you try Passe Soir and you was like, Passe, Passe No, try Dolce Amalfi, you might like it. I cannot do Passe Soir, like, I can't. I got the decant and it's still a hard no. Um, just something about that black pepper I just couldn't do. But this one, I'll do all day. Love it. Dolce Amalfi by Zerza. This beauty right here, chocolate is not a no for summer. I totally get that. Milky, lactonic, it's really not something you do in the summer heat. But Blanche Bete by, child, who is this house? I can never remember off the top of my head. Liquidies Imaginaries is gorgeous. This is a milky scent that works for summer. This has cacao, it's like tonic, it's just magical. This is a magical gourmand scent that wears like a very smooth, silky musk. Like this is not a powdery, um, thick musk. Like I've never smelled a musk like this, actually. It's sweet, it's so smooth. It's just like the smoothest musk you'll ever smell. Um, the cacao is, does not scream like chocolate. It's not, it's not, it's, it's just, it's, you, you ain't never smell nothing like it. That's how I describe this. You've never smelled anything so beautiful, magical, ethereal, gourmand, sweet, but not too cloying. It is like, you're in the clouds, okay? <laughs> you're in the clouds and you're basking in deliciousness. That is how I can describe it. It's very hard to describe. They have decants of this Max Aroma. I decant, I got a decant travel size of this first. Love it first sniff. Love it first whiff. First sniff, full bottle, purchase the next 
day. Um, very unique. It's, it's just, it wears so beautifully in the summertime. I'm telling you, a sensual date night. Like, you know you got a guy that likes a gourmand on you, but so many gourmands you just can't do in the summer. This is a perfect date night gourmand. I'm telling you, if he, if you like electronic notes, but not like a thick, see, the milk in here is not thick and heavy. Like, fragrances, like my commodity milk, Okay, uh, like Le Ventre Non, like Lyra. Those are thick scents. This one doesn't wear like that. The milk in here is done completely different from any milk you've ever, this is like a fluffy moon pie type of, like I can't describe it, you just gotta get your nose on it. Gourmand lovers, like tonic lovers, get your nose on this one. I'm telling you, it is one to have and it is just the, it is everything. This is a chocolate everything, but, perfect for the summer nights out. Okay, next up on this list is Orsa. Now this one is for the girls that are not afraid to be sweet as hell come summertime, okay? This is not for the ones that are easily annoyed by a, a, like a thick sweet scent for summer. This is full of delicious fruits, okay? So definitely giving you all the summer fruity vibes. Um. This is Tiziana Terenzi, so the musk DNA is there. But it's not, it's not too overpowering and dense for me. It is a very, very heavy caramel fruit scent. That is what you're getting. This is divine. <laughs> when I say divine, it is gorgeous. So you have like an event that you're going to um, for a summer evening out. This may be too much for the day. I will say that this may be too much for the day for a lot of people because it is very sweet. But if you're not the type that's, like I said, if you can handle a like a thick caramel sweet scent for summer, this one definitely um, gorgeous. It's so fruity and juicy. Goodness gracious, it is so, so exquisite. Like if you're looking for an elevated, sweet, fruity scent for the summer, this is it, I'm telling you, it projects. It wears beautifully. No one uh, is going to smell like you when you wear this thing. He will, he will love this on you. If there's a he, he will love this on you because it's, you're just going to smell so edible and delicious and addictive, really. Um, I think they do have a Testers of this at Sid Splint as well. Don't mark my word on it because I haven't looked in a long time, but when I originally tested this, it was through Sid Split. So they had it at that time and I think they do still carry it. So if you're looking, because this is very pricey, this ain't what you just gonna go out and blind buy. Like this is, I think, upwards to 500, like close to 600. Um, so definitely get your nose on it and test it before you buy it. But if you're a, a lover of, like I said, sweet fruity florals, you're gonna love this one. Orso by Tiziana Turin. Okay, you guys, and so the last one is one that I got in my Royalty Sense subscription. And this is Bitter Peach by Tom Ford. Did not expect to ever have this in my collection. But that is so, it, it's so important that you just test it for yourself. This is a very polarizing scent. So many people do not like this scent. I love this scent. This is the sexiest peach on God. Like this is the sexiest peach that you're gonna come across. It's like, it's got these liquor notes that totally, totally take it to that nighttime sexy, you know, we in a jazz club type of, type of vibe. <laughs> but it's got that peach that's making it just perfect for summer. Um, and it's sweet, like this is a syrupy sweet peach. But I think this is just, if you love a woody, fruity scent, like those, those girls that like the um, creative incense for her, like a good sheepery or a good like woody, fruity scent, definitely get your notes on Bitter Peach. Do not believe all the bad things you hear about this. Just test it for yourself because I was never gonna test this. I happened to be a Sephora, okay? Pleasantly surprised. Actually shook it <laughs> because I just knew this was gonna dry down to a disaster. Like a lot of Tom Ford's can do on me. Like Tom Ford is always 
one that I'm going to test. I'm never going to blind buy anything from the house. This I love, I love, I love, I love. It is just so unique. It's so delicious. It's so intoxicating. It's like I said, that liquor, ciao. One that he's going to love on you. Test it out, um, get to a Sephora, get to a Nordstrom, just somewhere who sells time for and test it on your skin. This did not turn into some crazy, um, you know, heavy, woody, like I did not know what to expect in a dry down but it's just all around like 360 degrees, <laughs> a beautiful peach sexy scent for me. I am obsessed. The full bottle is in the mail and I can't wait to wear it out. All right, you guys, so that is our video for today. Drop me a comment below and let me know some of your sweet fragrances that you love to pull out for the summertime. Again, if you're like me, we're not going. Okay, a whole season without smelling delicious and, um, you know, scrumptious. Like, that's not going to happen. So, these, I feel like they still work for the summertime. Drop me your fragrances below and let me know sweet deliciousness that you pull out for the summertime. I need more of my collection, so drop me your suggestions below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, you guys. Make sure the notification bell is turned on to all. And last but not least, if you found any value in the content, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up as it helps your girl with the algorithm. You guys, it has been real. I love you all and I will catch you on the next one.